through in games like this, back to back, just how do you guys stay focused out there? Yeah, I mean, you just try to, you know, try to get as many guys in as possible, and you just try to get as many quality of bats as possible. I mean, I know we're rotating in a lot of guys. Uh, you know, I'd like to see new guys. It's playing time, and um, you know, every pitch is a you know chance to learn and get someone out of it. So just try to stay locked in. You're feeling the bat pretty well today. What did you see out there that you liked? Yeah, I mean, you're just trying to, uh, you know, for me, it's just kind of trying to stay within myself and uh, work through each pitch. Um, you know, just trying to get quality, as many quality at bats as possible, and um, you know, seeing pitches pretty well right now. What about Do you care if it's ever lefty lefty, Roddy? Does it matter to you? No, I don't really care. I mean, we've got, uh, you know, I've got enough reps, you know, throughout the fall, and you know, I guess these past three years against both righties and lefties, um, you, know, you kind of understand what you're trying to do with. You know, righty or lefty, and who's pitching, so it doesn't really matter to me. Well, what's it like to see both chases out there, Burns and Dolan, or how, how, how does it be able to see them out there giving y'all some support? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. You know, it's pretty uh, pretty nice having those two guys in the weekend. You know, they're both obviously pretty good, so it's pretty fun. What's the mindset hey, tomorrow? I mean, you guys have came out here and dominated through two games. Just how do you stay focused and how do you keep the energy up? Yeah, absolutely. For us, I mean, it's just next task mentality, right? You know, today's over with, and you know, we, we understand that we got to win tomorrow too, and um, you know we're not focused on today anymore. It's on to our next task. Trey Lipscomb almost hit for the cycle in back-to-back games for the first time in NCAA history. Just what have you seen from him? You know, being that backup and now finally getting his chance. Yeah, I mean, as you guys know, I mean he's waited you know three years for his chance, and you know it's as good of a teammate as there comes. Uh, you know, he's a great person. He's worked his tail off, and I mean he's an incredibly talented kid, and you have seen all the work that he's put in, kind of show right now. And, it's pretty fun to watch. This time next weekend, you'll be taking on some tough uh, Big 12 opponents. Um, just how do these games kind of help you guys prepare for, for bigger games like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously, like, we all know that we're going there. But, you know, for us, just kind of focusing on, um, you know, being where our feet are. And, um, you know, I think when you talk about preparation, I think the best way to prepare is just kind of be where your feet are and understand that, uh, you know, we still have a job to do tomorrow and, you know, focus on that. Any more? All right, thanks, Drew. Awesome.